Hey, this is Alan Curtis Meisner, otherwise known as the Dragon Monster. And of course, as usual, my very lovely assistants, the tortoise, the mouse, and the eagle. Yes, I thought I would uh, share with you a uh, missionary experience that I had uh, years ago. Uh, basically, it happened during the very first month of my mission experience. Basically, uh, the event uh, went uh, something like this, that uh, one day uh, uh, we were out uh, late at night, tracting, or in other words, going door to door, trying to uh, see if we can find someone who will let us in and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. Now, basically what uh, happened was that out of uh, the blue, just uh, so you know, we were in the inner city, so basically, um, basically uh, we were the only white uh, men that uh, were in the area for the most part. There was at least one or two, but most uh, were black. So I have to establish that part. So anyways, he's uh, a black guy comes out of the blue pretty much and he starts uh, talking to us. He's gonna, I can't remember exactly what he said, but basically he's just chewing our ears out. Now, here's where, here's uh, the thing that I hope you will remember if nothing else. To this day, I guarantee that it was not by accident that he should arrive at uh, the uh, time that he did. Because uh, as while he was talking to us, while he was basically chewing our ears and prattling on about you know, whatever it was he was prattling on about, just down the street, there was a gang that was a sailing, sailing a couple, sailing a woman. Almost a couple, but that's not how it happened. It was uh, one woman. There was a gang that was uh, basically assaulting her, holding her, and she had this big bag that she was swinging around. There's this one guy who's like. You could almost imagine that he was probably seeing birdies flying around his head. Now, basically, basically the uh, reality of the story is that to this day, I think the guy hey, that shooter uh, that basically was prattling on about whatever was not uh, uh, there by accident. I am inclined to believe that he was sent there. That if he had not come at the time when he did, that we probably would have been right in the middle of the chaos and uh, my companion and I probably would uh, had not be alive to tell the story. I would not be able to tell the story and uh, and neither would my companion, Elder McKay. He was my trainer. I figure, just in case uh, Elder McKay happens to be watching this, it's a good idea to mention his name. <laughs> now, I always look at it this way. This is an example of the providence of uh, God that basically, if you are faithful, faithful and uh, also sometimes, even if you're not faithful, God's love is great enough that he will still protect you, protect you from harm. Now, basically, I mentioned even if you're not uh, faithful, but I uh, should point out uh, that might uh, prove erroneous to say that. But still, if you come to God in a time of crisis. You'll be able to do that. 
It happened one day with the writer of Amazing Grace that he, um, a, uh, by a miracle, survived a storm. And this is what ultimately led to the writing of that song, you know, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And basically, uh, basically, when you really think about it, it's like I said, it's the providence of God that's uh, right there under the uh, circumstances and and it doesn't necessarily have to be a someone who just comes out of the blue and starts talking your ear off it can be a friend or a total stranger who comes and warns you about the situation missions that happened just the other day and also the point is, if you listen to those who uh, give you the warnings, you will be safe. It doesn't make a difference if you are well prepared to defend yourself. Just never, never question those who are there because they might be sent to you uh, by God. See, basically, that's uh, kind of the thing, thing is that uh, uh, when you really think about it, that's how God can help us, is through people like us. Ordinary people, unusual circumstances, like what I experienced. And uh, there you go. That's my story. Now, you do not have to believe... Uh, that it was God if you don't want to but uh, uh, so my advice is you don't have to believe me the uh, point is, uh, is read for yourself find out for yourself if there's any uh, truth in it and, uh, and then believe me you will well, have your own knowledge Thank you for watching and uh, take care.